Hello guys, so let's look at how to design this amazing funeral brochure. Okay, so you see this amazing funeral cover that we have here. The inside, so we are going to learn how to design all of this, okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. But in this first section or in this first video, we are just going to look at the funeral brochure. And by the way, you see how it is very arranged over here, well arranged, everything is organized. You can get this one and it's almost like for free because when you come to this site you, you are going to see the funeral brochure i'm going to leave a link in the description or you can just use uh, the link in the bio uh, if you are on TikTok, use the link in the bio if you are on youtube just use the link in the description okay it's going to take you here so you are going to get five five funeral brochures it's supposed to be like 180 series but it's going for cool 100 ghana series okay so you can just check it out and uh, you purchase it to help us in one way or the other. Okay, we also have our amazing store that is all template based up. Uh, we have a brochure one by one, but this one, that one is a package, so it's one different platform. So with, without further ado, let's get into the video and see what we can do, okay? So to start with, we are just going to create our background, okay? So control plus N. To create a new document before we can create our background we are going to use a4 size so that at the end of the day it's going to be a4 fold or a5 okay so let's choose a4 and then we are going to rotate it over here so make sure you have the rotation then we can click on the create for a new blank document to open for us all right then from here we are going to make a copy of the background okay so we can just click and drag this one here to make the copy so we are going to have this lines okay so what we are going to do is i i can click and drag this okay we let's to stick here so that i'm going to know that this is the background so i don't need the background again let me delete it okay that is normally how i do it but we have so many ways to uh, of doing that okay but i'm okay with that so from here let's pick up the rectangle tool and let's draw a rectangle so like this okay so when it stick to the middle, it's going to show you that you are at the middle, okay? So from here, I don't want the stroke on the edge. Click on the move to, okay? And also, if you don't want this bounding box, you can just click on this one, okay, to remove that. But always make sure you know what you have selected. So let's make a duplicate of this. So to make the duplicate, we can just click and drag this one to the plus here to make the duplicate and then we move the other one or we can uh, hold down control key and then click and work and make the copy all right so with the, we just the black background like this that is what we are going to make the magic happen so i have some files that i'm going to use by the way please please this one i'm going to leave a link in the description below for you guys to have access to so i'm going to use this image that i downloaded from I think was it Pinterest or on Splash? I take Pinterest. By the way, I'm going to leave a link for you guys to have it. So let's move this image here. Okay, just like this. All right, then you can just click on that mark here to accept changes. Then let's add the layer marks to it. Okay, so what you are going to do is that we are going to try to blend this one in with the background. So I'm going to use the gradient to over here so have it selected and then you come up here and you open for the basic so go to the basic and you select this one okay the one with the gradient with uh, the other option with no gradient or with no color so from here we can just click and drag to blend this one in with the background okay so let's check it out and see if you are almost there i think we are almost there so from here you can i think you can just pick your brush tool from here make it a little bit bigger you can use the uh, the square bracket to make it small bigger and then you reduce the opacity so let's see opacity 50 okay 50 or 60 then let's try to brush brush on it okay so we have our background now but i think this is too much so we are going to um reduce it okay so first of all let's change the blending mode from normal to screen okay so we have screen over here 
okay the blending mode from normal to screen and then let's reduce the opacity to let's say 30 31 32 so let me go with 30 and you see how immediately it has started blending in okay then from here for me to add a little spice to it we can create a brand new layer so let's click on the plus and to create a brand new layer and then select the brush tool from here you can place the b just press the b on your keyboard to have access to then we are going to select a color like so we can just pick here and select a color like this near to brown okay so a lighter color of brown something something like that okay then we can make the brush bigger you can right click and you use the controls or just use the square brackets okay so let me tap one here just like that and i think that is too much let's change the blending mode from normal to screen or color dodge so oh so any of them that is going to make this one brighter shiny for you so this is before this is after you see that it threw some light onto it control plus uh, control plus t for the free transform let's make it a little bigger so it throws more light and it i it adds some spice to it you see before after and i like this vibe okay so from here let's choose our image so i have my image for this okay by the way the back one is already removed so yeah so first of all the image is too big and i'm i'm just going to scale it a very big just like this that is too much okay so let's reduce the size a little bit i think it's a little bit bigger Oh, it's okay but i guess it's okay so from here what we are going to do is that we are going to select the marquee two okay so let's select the rectangle one then make a selection up to this point and let's hold down the alt key or option on the mac and you click on the layer marks okay it's going to clean this part from our image all right so from here this is what we have so we are going to add our test okay so in lovely memory control plus t and let's make this one bigger so i think we made this one very big here and the same thing applies to uh, then we are going to write in loving memory then the age is going to come here and his name is going to come here all right so with the name we are going to use the rectangle tool to make a shape like this a very tiny one okay and then let's remove the stroke from it we don't want the stroke so and uh, let me remove the stroke from it at all because i don't want the strokes in my works okay let's make a duplicate so um First of all, let's make a duplicate of this. Okay, so to make the duplicate, this is how I'm, I'm making a duplicate. I hold down the Alt key, I click and drag, and also hold down the Shift key to make the copy proportional. Okay, then from here we can make this one a little bigger. All right. All right. Then for me, I'm going to change the color of this one to something like this. And Control plus T for the free transform. Or let's go to edit and select a transform. And let's select this one, skill. Then double click and just move it a little bit. All right. And also let's move it a little bit like this. Okay, so you see what you are creating. So the same thing, Control plus T, right click on it, skill and let's do something like that okay let's change the color mode for this all right then we can group this create a new blank new layer on top then let's select a color from here and let's make it a little lighter 
So we are going to, uh, you know, create a dab. We are just going to dab on it, okay, to create some cool effects, okay. So I don't know whether you understand. So from here, right click and you create a clipping mask. So you see, this was before, this is after. If it is too much, let's change the blending mode. Okay, so I think something like dodge is all fine and we can reduce the opacity if you want so from here we are just going to add the test so quickly i would like to add the test so we won't spend so much because we are going to look at all of these files so we are going to look at uh, this 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 okay so we don't want to spend too much time here like so you just have to add your test and then also let's make this one a little bigger like that this one up this one here up small okay so uh, let's see the test that we use for this one so this is the font or this is the test that we use for this one and also this is the font that i use for this one as well so from here i think we can add the age so quickly let me add the age because it's just a matter of taking your test to then you enter the age then you choose your color you want to use so let's quickly do that all right Control c for free transform let's make it a little bigger all right so basically that is how you are going to do that let's make a copy of this one here reduce the size hit enter then select your test tool and we can just replace this one with h all right so that is what how i'm going to add the age so quickly let me do that okay all right guys so if we add the age this is how it's going to look like okay so that is how it's going to look like if we add the age all right guys so basically this is how this is going to look like at the end of the day so when you are done with everything this is how the, the first side is going to look like so let's look at the other side all right so the back side the same approach you are just going to add some images i'll start with this one okay then position it somewhere here let's change the blending mode to screen and also reduce the opacity to 40 something okay then let's add the layer max to it and then with the help of the brush tool we can try to blend this one in with the background okay so just like that we are creating the background for this one you see this one is even nice okay so when you are okay with it you can just position it okay and then let me go and add another image so let's click and drag this one and reduce the size is too much and also let's change the blending mode from normal to screen add the layer mask and try to blend this one in as well so let me try to blend this one in all right so you see how this one also blended in very well with the background so we can just continue all So we can just continue to explore okay let me move this one all the way to the back and uh, to spice things up i'm just going to add a gradient or a color overlay onto it so let's go to color overlay color overlay and then let's choose something from here so you can just go through use your mouse key to go through you see this one isn't bad as well but i think i chose something different so depends on your choice you can also choose something different so let's select this one so this is what i selected for my side okay and reduce the opacity a little bit because i don't want to have too much brown like that uh, on my image because i wanted something black but at the end i decided to change or tweak it a little bit from there we can just add our image okay so click and drag this one here all right and what we are going to do is that i know you can guess just blend this one in with the background so reduce the size of this and let's try to blend this one in all right 
let's blend this one in as well opacity 100 let's try to blend this one we can use this one to make it more effective because i like the gradient gradient give it more dynamic and more effective okay you can try to change the blending mode if you are going to get something cool like something like this isn't bad okay so it all depends on your creativity what you want to come out at the end of the day all right so i think this something like this isn't bad so something like something darker isn't bad yeah so you can just ought to choose whatever that you want to quickly i'm going to just add the appreciation and then we wrap things up so next time we are going to look at the inside okay so that we can just quickly move fast and also please don't forget to come to our negative store or template page stack link is going to be in the description and also uh, this unique site where we have more template that is in box so you see that this one is free by the way and also this one five unique templates one is 30 cd five times 350 150 series but it's going for cool 100 ghana series then we have a funeral posters that is supposed to be around one is 20 cities so 10 that's 200 cd but it's going for a cool 70 ghana series and a birthday t-shirt so these are packages for you guys okay so please don't miss out all right so at the end of the day if i add this image this is how it's going to look like thank you very much for getting the time uh to watch this video together with me okay so let me um make this one as um let me uh, just put this one on a mock-up for you guys to see what i got at the end of the day so if you place this one on a mock-up this is how it's going to look like you, you, are, you are going to get something like this okay and also if you guys want the mock-up let me know in the comment section and this mock-up as well thank you very much for spending your time with this video come back and see the inside how we are going to go about it so that you gain some tricks and knowledge about it until next time keep creating and never give up